Country, you guys. I feel so excited right now that I'm experiencing this with you, Chelsea. Should be. It's really an honor. How nervous are you on a scale of one to ten? I'm really not nervous anymore. I'm very excited. Chelsea's looking up stuff in French. Tu es français? Oui. Chelsea and I were. J'ai parlé un peu français. Talk louder. Everyone just starts booing me. <laughs> Chelsea and I were just talking about how we both have birthmarks that we've forgotten about. Chelsea has this one on her forehead. This is my birthmark on my arm and I always forget that it exists. And it's big. So it's like, how do I forget it? Awesome. It's big and hideous. Cool. Everything on my new phone is just not working. Good morning, we made it to Paris. I'm here with Chelsea, Danny, and Rachel. I am so happy to be here. This is everyone's first time besides me. I have been to Paris, I think two times in the past, um, but it's been a few years since I've been here, so I'm really excited to be back. Chelsea, what do you think of uh, Paris so far? Paris is beautiful. We are staying at an Airbnb. Um, it is in a really great location. However, there have been a few things that haven't been ideal about it. One, being the Wi-Fi. Two, being the fact that there's a bathroom upstairs with no toilet and then just a toilet downstairs with no sink. It's a very odd setup, so I don't know that I'm going to link this Airbnb for you guys because I usually try and just link the ones that I absolutely am obsessed with and like love, love, love staying at. So, I don't know if this one's going to get my seal of approval, but it has been a really good location and it's great for what we need. Um, we are headed to breakfast right now and then we're going to see the Eiffel Tower. Everyone's first time seeing the Eiffel Tower. We just got to breakfast at Wild and the Moon. This is their menu. Look how cute that is. Um, this is plant-based. They have like a bunch of different smoothies, bowls, that kind of stuff. This is, I feel like, a little harder to come by in Paris, so I'm excited that we found this place. Um, it's really cute. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't know who else gets hangry all the time, but in the mornings I always bring macro bars with me on trips because otherwise I'll get hangry and I forgot them all. So she was angry. So this morning. morning I'm like, just don't. I just don't even like to talk until I've like eaten. It's really bad. Getting some lemon water. I got a golden latte. You guys know I love turmeric lattes. And. They got chais, and I was saying I might regret oh, wow. not getting a chai. Is it good? So good, you guys. Oh, great. Oh, that's really good. And here's our breakfast. Got some acai bowls and some green smoothies. This looks delicious. We just got stuff for a picnic. And we got a suitcase down here. We're in an Uber. We're packed. Oh, an Uber. It's evening. It's not now. Okay. Perfect. What time? Quelle heure? Bah, la plupart des gens, ils sont à, à 23 heures. Baguette. <laughs> I said baguette and you were like, what? No, you said baguette. No, I said I, said, I mumbled you baguette said and then I was like, okay. Chelsea got a blue beret because I have a pink one and you know we got to get those vibes. I really oh. tried to resist because honestly, that's sure giveaway that we're American. Yeah, you're playing games. You were all for it. Oh, wait, oh, <laughs> our food. See that there's no more bread besides that? Because we ate all of it. Guys, these plums were so good. This one was not as sweet as the other ones, but they were really good. I'm so excited about this camera. I got it right before I left for Paris, and we're about to go to a film place actually today and get this developed, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. 
Everyone's embarrassed. I told them there's nothing to be embarrassed it's of. We look cute. We I look cute. cute. I'm not wearing one. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. We found matching berets. <laughs> Comment below if this is embarrassing. Please, a little. Okay. No. I have all these little mirror things. Like, I feel like they just have these all over Paris. And I always wonder how people take these photos. I've seen European vloggers take photos, like on the street, but it's a mirror photo. This is how. We are twinning very hard right now. Yeah, we look <laughs> We look a little crazy. I like But I like it. Is this how you're supposed to wear a barrette? Is this a barrette? Hello, France. This. Is our table. That is our view. Look how pretty that is. We got these little uh, burrata cheese. Ooh, I don't even know what this is, but it looks really good. Chelsea's taking the cheese off of hers. The Eiffel Tower is lit up now, and we're waiting on some hot chocolate. Look at it sparkle, you guys. This is the most magical thing ever. Yeah, how amazing is that? Oh it's so gosh. perfect. Good morning. It is a rainy day in Paris. And we're going to the grocery store so I can get some snacks. Alright, I just got ready for the day. I'm in this sweater and this slip dress. This sweater is the best thing ever. I'm going to link it for you guys. I have it in two colors. I have it in green and in white. Um, I feel like this is just going to be a fall and winter staple for me. It's one of those sweaters that's like oversized and just fits perfectly. I actually got this one in a small and um, the green one that I have is in an extra small. So they both fit me well. It comes very oversized. So the extra small was definitely good. They just only had this one in a small when I was at the store. And it was right before I came here and I really wanted the white one so I just got it in a small. But I like that it's like extra oversized. It's so comfy and warm. Danny and Rachel went to go get our film developed. We actually tried to get our film developed yesterday. And we went to, we mapped to the wrong film place. So we called the film place and they were like, oh yep, we can do it in 48 hours. Like develop the film. We're like, okay, that's good. So we walked all the way there and then they're like, oh yeah, it takes two weeks to get the film developed and we were super confused and then we realized we mapped to the wrong place. So it was kind of a waste of our time to walk all the way there. So Danny and Rachel went to the right place this morning. It's called Negatif and they are getting our film developed and we'll hopefully have it in 48 hours. I'm really excited to see the photos that we took and we are meeting them at breakfast right now at Cafe de Flore. So we're headed there right now. We're about to get an Uber. It's raining using this jacket as an umbrella. This. Oh wow, that is straight up chocolate. <laughs> All right, they were out of croissants, so this is butter. Oh, my hand just literally had a heart attack. This is some butter and this is some toast. We are now on our way to Pauline. This is my bag from there. Chelsea has a matching blue one. You guys have probably seen me wear this nonstop on my Instagram and on YouTube. It is such a good size. It fits a lot of stuff, so I love it for traveling and just day to day. We are going to meet with them right now and see their store, which I'm so excited about. I absolutely love their bags. They're such good quality, so I'm really excited to check it out. I got yeah, I this one that. and Chelsea got the black. We wanted the smaller size because we have the bigger sizes in our pink and blue ones. And this one has a gold chain that's so pretty. I am really excited about this bag. I am gonna wear it all the time. We're getting some vegan pizza right now. Here's our pizza and dessert. Guess what guys, I'm vlogging on my iPhone. Why you ask? Because I lost my vlog camera. This is the second time I've lost it. The first time I thought I left it when we were taking photos somewhere. Um, turns out it was just actually in our apartment somewhere at our Airbnb. Um, so that was the first scare. And then today I was getting everyone worked up again saying, guys, I lost my vlog camera. I can't find it anywhere. I had those two Polane purses, two different purses, a jacket. I have like my film camera, my iPhone, just all this different stuff in my purses and it was hard to keep track of it all. 
and sure enough i left it at the pizza place and i just called and they said they have it and it's safe which i am so grateful for because honestly i thought it was stolen um which i was so sad to lose all of that paris footage so we're good it's at the pizza place but we are going to the palace of versailles right now um which is so pretty i've been to paris multiple times and never been here so it's always been on the list and i'm really excited to see it i'm sad that i won't have my vlog camera so the footage will be on an iPhone, but that's okay. After we go there, then I will go back to the pizza place because they don't close until 10 and she said she would keep it safe for me. <laughs> what do you mean in the hair? It's in the hair. Is it gonna, like, is it gonna fly out soon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I Should we blow it. on it? <laughs> Danny, blow on it. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, run away. <laughs> we made it to the palace. This place is insane. We're about to go inside right now. Look at these gardens. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we went to this place called, uh, we actually don't know the name, it just said pizza and pasta outside the neon sign. So we tried to go to Pink Mama, the place we'd originally planned to go, and it was so packed that there wasn't an opening for two hours. So we're super hungry, so we decided to come here, and then we're going to probably go there tomorrow for lunch. But I just ordered the pesto pasta. Chelsea got some spicy tomato pasta that I want a bite of. <laughs> it's real spicy. It is midnight and we are at the Eiffel Tower. It is sparkling behind me. It is white night tonight in France. This is, I don't know how often this happens, uh, but it's a special night here. It's a party and we're having a good time. Chelsea says that if you drop a penny off the Eiffel Tower, she thinks it could kill someone. My dad told me. Let's see. Uh, overall, the myth is not true, and a penny drop from the Eiffel Tower cannot kill a person. Gotcha. Look at this little baby. Guys, we just came down these steps and witnessed the cutest proposal I've ever seen. There was no one around just then, and we got candid photos of him proposing to her and just sent them to her. It was the best moment, and we all teared up, and it was just... We were meant to get out of bed and come out here tonight to witness that. It was so sweet. Gosh. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? You guys, I left the freaking door to our Airbnb <laughs> open the entire time. Not just like cracked, like help, help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> panic attack. Oh my gosh, no one's in here. We're good. Good morning from Paris. Um, yesterday was a wild ride, you guys. You witnessed some of it. We went out at 1 a.m., you know, so quirky. We're so crazy. Um, no, but normally, like, Chelsea and I like to get our sleep. We're very adamant about sleep, so we were like, oh, we don't want to go out. But Danny and Rachel convinced us, and let me tell you, it was the best decision. Get you some friends that make you go out, get outside of your comfort zone, wake up at midnight and go explore the town okay because it was a blast and i'm so happy we went i cannot believe we saw that proposal i know i was freaking out about it in the vlog but the timing of it just could not have been more perfect and honestly what are the odds that all of us would walk down and see that at that moment and that we all take photos rachel's a wedding photographer i used to be a wedding photographer like we've filmed proposals before we've taken photos of them so it was just so perfect and yeah it was just a magical night this morning we're feeling a little tired because we only got like four hours of sleep, but we are headed to the Louvre right now. Um, we were going to go to breakfast. Danny and Rachel went to breakfast. Me and Chelsea were like going to go to this smoothie place and then we were like, we're tired. We're just going to watch Provo's Most Eligible instead. So we've been watching the Provo's Most Eligible. If you guys know what that is, you know. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. Why does this look so dark? Anyway, this is all a line and it wraps all the way around. And they're not selling any more tickets today, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow. Gosh. We just got these little uh, mocktails. It's called a tutti frutti. Okay, we got our pasta. Chelsea and I got the same thing. Whoa, <laughs> vlog inception. 
Yum. We just got done eating and I have to say, Pink Mama lived up to the hype for me. The food was really good, the drink was yummy, the, oh, uh, not ensemble, what is it called? The ambiance, the atmosphere, the decor was all so well done. And I have to say it's pretty decently priced for what it is. We've been to restaurants that are a lot more expensive while we've been here. And I feel like this place is like not too bad. I was pleasantly surprised. It's adorable. And if you guys want to go here though, something to note. So this is the place we tried to go yesterday. It's very packed all the time. There's always a line outside. Every single time we've come, there's been a long line. So make sure to get here early, look up when it opens, and come like even before it opens to start getting in line. And we actually didn't get to get seated at a table. We kind of sat at like a high top because there weren't tables available. So definitely make sure to come early if you're gonna come, but it's very, very cute and worth it. Stopped into this little jewelry shop cutest little dainty pieces. I just tried on this Beautiful. little snake ring. It's so fun. I have a snake necklace on too right now. We're going into this little vintage shop. back to our Airbnb, I did some work stuff that I had to do, and then we went to the Eiffel Tower for the third time to watch it sparkle for our last night in Paris. Um, we're at this place called Hank Burger, it's kind of the same as the Hank pizza place that we went, but it's burgers, um, veggie burgers, potato wedges, cookies, like this is our stuff. <coughs> And so far, fries are amazing. Really? I'm so excited. I'm starving. So we're going to eat, and then we're headed back to our Airbnb. Almost said gracias. Yes. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Thank you. Saying goodbye to Paris. I am so Almost sad there. to leave, but so excited for Nice. Um, we are on our way to the airport right now. We're headed to Nice. It's only like an hour flight. I think it's really, really fast, so that'll be nice. And our Airbnb is actually really close to, our, uh, to the airport we just found out, so that will be really nice. Make sure to stay tuned for my niece vlog. I cannot wait to be back. I was there like four years ago and I honestly don't really remember it and I didn't spend that much time there. So I basically feel like it'll be my first time there and I'm really excited. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you want to see my niece vlog and more travel vlogs and more fun stuff and give this video a big ol' thumbs, thumbs up if you liked it. Bye guys. Bye. We love you. We love you. We ain't never gonna stop loving you.